we're told point A is at negative 1 comma 4, and point C is at 4 comma negative 6. Find the coordinates of point B on segment, line segment AC, such that the ratio of AB to AC is 3 to 5. So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, now let's work through this together. And to help us visualize, let's plot these points. So first, let us plot point A, which is at negative 1 comma 4. So negative 1 comma 1, 2, 3, 4. So that right over there is point A. And then let's think about point C, which is at 4 comma negative 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4 comma negative 6. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Just like that. And so the segment AC, I get my ruler tool out here. Segment AC is going to look like that. And the ratio between the distance of A to B and A to C is 3 to 5. Or another way to think about it is, B is going to be 3 fifths along the way from A to C. Now the way that I think about it is, in order to be 3 fifths along the way from A to C, you have to be 3 fifths along the way in the x direction and 3 fifths along the way in the y direction. So let's think about the x direction first. We are going from x equals negative 1 to x equals 4, to go from this point to that point. Our change in x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so if we want to go 3 fifths of that, we went a total of 5. 3 fifths of that is going just 3. So that is going to be b's x coordinate. And then we can look on the y coordinate side. To go from a to c, we are going from 4 to negative 6. So we're going down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so 3 fifths of 10 would be 6. So b's coordinate is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. So just like that, we were able to figure out the x and the y coordinates for point b, which would be right over here. And you could look at this directly and say, look, b is going to have the coordinates. This looks like this is 2, comma, negative 2, which we were able to do with the graph paper. So another way you could think about it even algebraically is the coordinates of b, we could think about it as starting with the coordinates of a, so negative 1, comma 4. But we're going to move 3 fifths along the way in each of these dimensions towards c. So it's going to be plus 3 fifths times how far we've gone in the x direction. So in the x direction, to go from a to c, we're going from negative 1 to 4. And so that distance is 4 minus negative 1. And this, of course, is going to be equal to 5. And then on the y dimension, this is going to be our a's y coordinate plus 3 fifths times the distance that we travel in the y direction. And here we're going from 4 to negative 6. So if we say negative 6 minus 4, that is negative 10. And so the coordinates of b are going to be negative 1 plus 3 fifths times 5 is going to be plus 3, and then 4 plus 3 fifths times negative 10. Well, 3 fifths times negative 10 is negative 6. And so that gets us to comma negative 2. And we are done, which is exactly what we got right over there.